This is no standard Christmas village. This is a Christmas city, and it's called Lake Diane. It's located inside a Waukesha home. It spiraled way out of control, way too fast. Diane is the mayor. I love putting it together. And her husband, Ken. I need a DPW. It takes about one month to assemble and a few months to design it. It's a new arrangement every year. Diane takes care of the assembly and artistic design. Where can I put roads? Where can I put the farm? And then I start putting the ski hills, the lakes, the ice skating rinks. Lake Diane has 101 houses and a population of about 300 people. There are more than 1,000 trees. There's also a school, city hall, downtown, a tavern, a lake, ice fishers, Frosty the Snowman, a general store, skiers, tubers, a gondola, and I have to give a shout out to my fellow journalists at the Colonial Village News. Do I say we're never going to add to it? We always do. <laughs> when I say we have enough trees, no. no. We always buy more. It all started with just five homes in 1995. It was a fun and cute hobby. And then it grew, little by little. Until one day, as they were building their new home, they decided to have a space built specifically to display Lake Diane. There's a massive closet right there that holds everything. Ken, as the head of DPW, is in charge of the dirty work. The village is beautiful, but look underneath and you'll see tons of wires and cords keeping the lights on. 400 sets of lights and 175 transformers, about 150 um, extension cords. Don't worry, they assured me it's not a fire hazard. In Waukesha, James Grow, TMJ4 News.